Hello guys, my name is Gio and this is Prove Better. In this series, we will walk you through how we brew the coffees that we roast. These are coffees coming from different parts of the world. For today, I'm brewing a coffee from Altiere Coffee Panama, a family-owned business that has been growing coffee for the past 15 years. The second generation of the family are now operating and growing these coffees and producing very flavorful and tasty coffees. Their coffees are named after their grandchildren. Vilgo is a nickname of Diego, Rola is a nickname of Rolando, and Ale is short for Alexandra. The coffee we're brewing today is a lot called Ale, coming from the Calejon Seco in Boquete, Panama. It is grown at an altitude of 1,700 meters above sea level. This is the natural process geisha varietal that tastes like strawberry, blueberry, and white grapes. It's very nice because it's very clean and the texture is really amazing. How do I brew this coffee? I'll be using 14 grams of ground coffee with a grind size of 17 ticks using a comandante. And I'll be pouring 200 ml of water with a water temperature of 92 degrees Celsius. I'll be using a glass flatbed brewer this will help me extract the coffee more consistently and more uniform. What I love about this brewer is that it helps the coffee taste consistent in all temperatures from hot to cold. So you get that nice brightness and crispness up until when the coffee cools down. My target total yield of extracted coffee is 160 ml. So let's start brewing. I will be doing four equal parts of 50 ml pours. First, let's saturate the coffee bed evenly, as fast as we can. And then on the 25th second, let's pour again our next 50 ml. So what we'll do, we'll just do circle pours. And let's wait for 45 seconds to pour again our next 50 ml. So we're doing a center pour up until 150 ml. So at one minute and 10 seconds, we'll do a circle pour, and that's 200 ml. We'll wait for the output ratio to reach 160 ml, and then we'll cut the brew. So we've reached 160 ml at exactly one minute and 50 seconds. Let's test the aroma of the coffee. In the aroma, you're greeted with strawberries. At the same time, you get that nice nuttiness. And let's enjoy the coffee. When it's hot, the strawberry is consistent together with blueberry. It also has a very sweet brown sugar finish. Now let's try the coffee when it has cooled down. So now the coffee becomes a lot brighter with strawberry, blueberry and white grapes. Overall, this coffee is very bright and sweet. It also has a nice texture. The balance is amazing because of the sweetness. Always remember that the best coffee is a coffee that suits you. It should be something that you personally prefer. Feel free to share with us your experience with this amazing coffee and how you brew this coffee. Talk to us through Facebook and Instagram. We'd be happy to learn from you and to engage with you. Cheers and don't stop brewing.